towel actually. Let me move some stuff. So I might move the camera so that you can better see me. So I have basically decided that I want to start an album. As you know, I started scanning, developing, scanning, editing, and now printing my film rolls and also my digital photos at home. And now I have a ton of images that I printed and I want to start this album that I bought back in October of last year, but then the busy season came, wedding season, so I was busy editing a lot of large wedding catalogs. Now I want to start this beautiful album. I also ordered a new one and for this one I'm going to use this tape which I also ordered back in 2023, October, and I still haven't opened it. So I am going to create these videos with a lot of photo stuff which is going to include printing, the album making, album designing, also the scanning, editing, a lot of the stuff that it's not shooting but it's all of the post processing and I also want to make sure that I'm making these beautiful albums so that I can look back at the photos and also show to my parents and my family. I have all of the prints from June and July here. So today is August, I don't remember the date, but it's my first day of holiday vacation. It's a Monday morning, I'm not working. I have spent a beautiful day yesterday at the lake. So those images are going to be in the next video about August. And in this video, I'm going to do June and July photos. So these are going to be film photos. And I'm also going to include digital photos from my Fuji X100V. But I think I'm going to use the new album, which is is going to be delivered later tonight so you'll see that later in the video let's start with the film photos from france i was there in june i have a video about this trip so if you want to see these beautiful places just go watch that video and in this video i'm going to create an album <laughs> with these beautiful images which are also huge let's start you got someone new i know But I will keep on denying Oh wow! It doesn't even fit too! What about this? So, it's going to be one photo per page That's okay, that is okay I'm wondering if it does fit too, if it does, do I want it? Probably not Let's start from this one, which is actually probably the first shot, if not the second shot, that I took with the Mamiya 645 and it was in black and white. It was my first 120 shot and my first black and white roll. Let's see how this looks. No, no, no! Oh wow. I need to zoom a shot. Also, maybe a plot twist at the end. It wasn't like that. So it's not my favorite type of mystery. And I would look up trigger warnings if you. So we're going to do one more author. There are four more authors that did reply. And then a party. By the way, what did you do? And a party. These two are some of my favorites. <laughs> what? <laughs> Last page. I have done all this. Ooh, let me quickly chat with you while I insert the last photo. I just wanted to say that this tape was amazing. I'm going to link it below so that if you're interested, you can purchase this. It has made the job much faster, much easier, and I basically loved it. Probably don't try not to do the mess that I did. <laughs> Let me paste the last one. And with that, I have completed my first album. Let's open a random page and see which image pops on. I am now going to write dates and places or just places with the pen. I love the process. I was watching YouTube videos that I had to catch up 
while I was doing this and it was so relaxing I can't wait to do this more often and I'll show you the album that I got which is for these prints which are much smaller so moving forward I am going to print this format so I am so glad that I completed this album because these were the larger prints So by the time you'll see this video, these film scans will already be all scanned, all edited and the video will be already published so go check that one out this was the bike ride that we did on our first day on vacation today is our third day yesterday i developed the film today i'm scanning and editing and i am going to start uh, watching the footage and sending everything to my sister which is my video editor and i'm so excited to see how this role turned out it's my second portrait role is it it is it's my second one so i'm really curious to see how it turned out let's move forward should i keep the border let me pause the music should i keep the border portra 400 what are your thoughts about it i just cannot understand my preferences i really love it it's harder to edit for me because when i scan and edit the negatives the border cannot be included otherwise it messes up with the editing the converting of the negative that's my stomach i still haven't had breakfast this is how excited i am about the film yeah let me know what you think do you like the border or do you prefer the images the photos without the border with the kodak portra 400 Thing. I actually should figure out how to do it. Let me know. Final thoughts. I just finished editing this fit these 15 film scans that I scanned earlier and this was my second 120 portrait roll. I definitely love a few shots and it was a great experiment. I think I need to buy a light meter because for some of these um, I would have liked to meter for the shadows instead of the whole scene since it was sunset golden hour and for what I like for my specific style I like to, sh to meter for the shadows so that is definitely something i want to test in the future so i'll start searching for a light meter if you have any recommendation just let me know i know about the Seconic, which is the most loved one by my photographer clients but i think that one is pretty expensive so i'm going to do some research and try to find out another one i'll definitely let you know which one i'll end up buying i'll leave the link in the description below but yeah i need to do some research before so i think i want to end this video here i am going to okay i was about to say that i was going to end the video here but i just i just thought that since i'm in lightroom and i just finished editing these images i am going to print this directly from lightroom as i showed you in another video the tutorial that i did on this printer and while these get printed which will take a few minutes i am going to insert the prints the last prints that i have from july into a new album that i just received which is very very awesome and amazing and i'm going to show you those as well so let's start printing and doing that album
panda report. Oh my god, I am obsessed. Let me show you this. So this was very, very easy. Look at this. I just inserted all of these prints. Look at this one. This one I didn't show you because my sister did not include this in the video. But this is actually the this is the most satisfying Portra 400 skin tone that I got. <laughs> Might only make sense for me, but look at this. More from the dolomites. Dolomites. These are basically all from the dolomites. And then the last one is, of course, the Dolomites, beautiful, and me having aperitivo with one of my closest friends. I am also going to print this one I got out of Fuji, Fuji 400, Fuji 400, <laughs> the Fuji X100V. And I'm also going to print the image of my friend and the aperitivo that we had. I am so excited to finally be printing memories and images that I'm shooting and that I'm spending so much time doing and so much energy and this makes me so proud of myself for finally starting doing that. These prints are gorgeous. Of course, I wanted to mention the print. The quality of these prints is not the finest quality. Uh, it's not the highest quality but it is cost effective for me because printing higher quality would be too expensive for me so I'm not doing that I'm just printing images since I think I'm still learning and should I ever get beautiful photos that I want um, to have a higher quality of these prints I would just send those to the lab and ask them to do a larger print in a higher quality of this print so that is definitely something that I'm going to do because I also want to start hanging frames on the walls and also have more frames around the house which I'm already doing that was a strange sound this image might be should I give you a, a sneak peek this is definitely my favorite if not one of my favorites but I'm going to show you in the next video so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I plan on doing more videos like this one I hope it was inspiring uh, for you to start printing your photos Ciao.